But one animal did not join in the joyous ceremony. Scar, the king's jealous brother, stayed in his den. Later, Scar just laughed when the king's advisor, Zazu the Hornbill, criticized him. Then the evil lion popped the bird into his mouth. Scar would have eaten Zazu if Mufasa hadn't come along just in time. Zazu wiped his feathers off and scolded, As the king's brother, you should have been first in line at Simba's ceremony. Scar's green eyes gleamed. I was first in line until the little hairball was born. That hairball is my son and your future king, Mufasa growled. Scar slinked away. Don't turn your back on me, Mufasa warned. Scar looked back over his shoulder. His eyes narrowed. Perhaps you shouldn't turn your back on me. Simba grew quickly. One morning, Mufasa took his son to the top of Pride Rock and told him, the circle of life never stops turning. One day the sun will set on my time as ruler and rise with you as king. Then everything the light touches will be yours. What about that shadowy place? Simba asked. Mufasa declared, you must never go there. Suddenly Zazu swooped down and squawked, Hyenas in the Pride Lands! Mufasa frowned. Zazu, take Simba home. Ah, oh, Dad, can't I come? Simba whined. Mufasa shook his mighty mane. Fighting savage hyenas was no job for a cub. Later Simba asked his uncle Scar about the shadowy place. An evil plan formed in Scar's mind. Only the bravest lions go to the elephant graveyard. Scar told him. He knew the foolish cub would go there just to prove his bravery. Scar was right. Simba couldn't wait to go to the elephant graveyard with his best friend Nala. But how could they go with Zazu watching every move they made? We've got to ditch the dodo, Simba whispered. Nala giggled and agreed. Soon the two friends found a way to escape their feathered babysitter. Before long, the young lions had reached the dark, mysterious place beyond the borders of the Pride Lands. Giant bones poked out of the ground. It's kind of scary, Nala whispered. Let's check it out, Simba said. I laugh in the face of danger, ha ha ha. He he he, cackled three mean hyenas, Shenzi, Bonsai, and Ed. Look, boys, a king fit for a meal, Shenzi snickered. The cubs ran, but soon found themselves cornered. Simba stepped bravely in front of Nala and tried to roar. Grrr. The hyenas laughed and jeered. Simba opened his mouth to try again. This time, the elephant bones rattled with a thunderous roar. The hyenas were confused, and so was Simba, until Mufasa sprang into view. The mighty lion chased away the hyenas. Zazu had seen the cubs in trouble and flown for help. Mufasa told Zazu to take Nala home. Then he scolded Simba for disobeying him. Ah, oh, Dad, I was just trying to be brave like you, Simba explained. Mufasa sighed. Being brave doesn't mean you go looking for trouble, Simba. A good king is wise as well as brave. Simba suddenly felt very small. We'll always be together, right, Dad? Mufasa looked up at the starry sky and said, The great kings of the past looked down on us from those stars. So whenever you feel alone, just remember that those kings will always be there to guide you. And so will I. Later, Scar met up with the hungry hyenas. I practically gave those cubs to you, he complained. They weren't exactly alone, Shenzi whined. But Scar had another plan that would allow him to become king. Stick with me, and you'll never go hungry again, he promised. The hyenas danced and cheered. The next morning, Scar took Simba to the bottom of a rocky canyon. Now wait here, he ordered. Your father has a big surprise for you. Will I like the surprise? Simba asked. Scar smiled slyly. Oh, it's to die for, he said as he walked away. Then he gave a signal to the hyenas waiting on the canyon ridge. 
The hyenas knew what to do. They chased a huge herd of wildebeests down the canyon. Simba felt the earth shake. He heard the clattering of thousands of hooves. Then he saw the wildebeest heading straight for him. Simba managed to climb a dead tree and cling to a branch. Help, he shouted. Help was on its way, for Scar had found his brother. Mufasa, Simba's trapped in a stampede, Scar cried. Just as Scar had planned, Mufasa rushed to Simba's rescue. He lifted his son to safety, but then fell under the rushing tide of hooves. Dad, shouted Simba. He couldn't see anything through the huge dust cloud. Mufasa tried to pull himself up the steep rocks. Scar watched his brother struggle. Help me, brother, help me, Mufasa pleaded. Scar reached for Mufasa's paws. He pulled his brother close and whispered, Long live the king. <laughs>